Kirill Tureshin is called a freak after he showed off Popeye-like muscles. The world is weird but humans are weirder. People have read the news about Josiah Zayner, who edited his own DNA with a CRISPR tool and became real-life Captain America. This time an ex-soldier has tried to become the Hulk, as he injected a homemade muscle-building brew to his body. Kirill Tureshin the Russian national is addressed as a freak by many others and was warned that he might become paralyzed if he proceeds with the modification process. However, Tureshin now looks like Popeye the sailor with weirdly modified muscles. He, probably, will need a medical surgery to fix his hands in future. According to Russian doctor Professor Evgeny Lylan, he is very likely faces amputation. Tureshin posted pictures of his unnatural biceps on Instagram. Though the pictures are extremely disturbing, Tereshin, on the other hand, said that he wants to continue the homemade potion, which is a mixture of sight enhancement oil, including olive oil, lidocaine and benzyl alcohol. The 21-year-old Russian man has already injected 6 liters of the homemade liquid, which has increased the size of the biceps to 23 inches and now plans to make it 27. According to Mirror, Professor Lylan also mentioned. One day abscesses will develop, then inflammation and he, will be at risk of, a stroke. The bad thing is that already injected synthol or its equivalent will remain in his muscles for the next five to seven years, even if he stops adding more now. Another medical specialist said, inside the arms of this man there are already pathologically changed tissues that look like jelly with insertions. They are aseptic or inflammatory so far but these are abscesses. They consist either of oil or blood from the damaged vessels. They can't be removed, the doctor added. The story doesn't end here. The former soldier has also planned to enhance his back, chest and shoulders. However, when he was asked about his weird obsession, he said that he wasn't to become a porn star in future and experience the glory of the social networking sites. I would like to get more than 1 million subscribers on Instagram and to stop working, he said. Jereshin also explained the process of this modification and said, For about a month I was making up to 10 injections into each arm every day, using a 20 ml syringe. If I had used real synthol, it would have cost me about 400,000 rubles, 5,000 pounds, but as I made it myself, I spent only about 4,000 rubles, about 50 pounds. I did not feel any discomfort in my arms when I was doing it. My body got used to it. Within a month I got 106,000 subscribers on my Instagram. I love to be recognizable, he concluded.